Hey, welcome back to the STBN server. I am the Colonel. Thank you for joining me today. It has been a while since I have recorded anything. It's been about three weeks. I had some family in town for a couple of weeks and then took a, a week and... So I guess it'd be about a week, two week and two weeks. I don't know. My brain's not working. I'm still in vacation mode. I uh, got one more day off until I'm back to work. Um... But yeah, it's been uh, it's been a long time. I've been jonesing for some Minecraft. I tried to started to build something uh, before I left, and unfortunately, I was not able to finish it. So we're gonna start off the episode today with that. Uh, but here we go. This is the uh, the one we built in the last episode. A little homage to Canada, my home country. Uh, looks pretty sweet. I did adjust it. We were off by one. <laughs> now it's back on track. Uh, so we're good to go there. So what I wanted to do uh, before I left on vacation was to uh, finish up for the July 4th weekend, since I live in the U.S., um, a little homage to America, and uh, didn't get to finish it. Um, and in fact, <laughs> well, <laughs> you'll probably notice some pauses uh, during the, the time lapse um, of this guy here, and... Uh, I kind of was dozing off halfway through. <laughs> it happens, man. It happens. So anyway, uh, happy birthday uh, to America. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the time lapse. And we'll come back and we'll see if we can catch up on what we were getting up to uh, before I, I went on vacation. start again with just my children and my wife thank my lucky stars to be living here today cause the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away and I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm Today, cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee. Across the plains of Texas From sea to shining sea From Detroit down to Houston And New York to L.A. Well, there's pride in every American heart And it's time we stand and say Today, cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to me. And I gladly. Today, cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA.
So here we are, kind of derpy, um, didn't have a lot of space to work with, and I really wanted to keep the lines uh, within the boundary. Uh, this should match up, I believe, with uh, the flag upstairs, the Canadian flag. So we got the Canadian flag upstairs and the U.S. flag down here. Uh, the dimensions are a little off, as I say, uh, I wanted to keep the lines for the stripes, 
and the uh, <laughs> this isn't going to be perfect at all. Uh, there's no way you can fit, fit the uh, number of stars in for the number of states uh, in this little space. So um, I just decided to light it all up with uh, lanterns. So it looks kind of cool, I think. Um, anyway, so thank you very much, America. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, so, what do we have? We have, uh, so this is our strip mine. And we're probably going to have to start strip mining again to just get a few more resources. Uh, possibly some redstone and such. Um, but let's uh, head back to, where are we going to head back to? I think we're going to head back to, man, i got to check the notes. I think there's been some things that people have been building that are kind of spoiler worthy. And I don't want to spoil anything. And uh, for those of you who are curious, that's Pudsy's old... Uh... <laughs> I've forgotten all the words. Portal. Uh, I think Glammy was going to take over the castle there. So uh, Glammy and I may be neighbors. So I'm just going to head back over here and uh, we'll come back to spawn, I think. All right, we're back at spawn, and uh, <laughs> in the time that I was away, there's a lot of stuff, apparently, that is now uh, spoiler content, so I can't really show a lot of spawn. Um, we have uh, Chuff's building back here, and uh, we'll go there in a second. Uh, we've got Glammy's toaster. I think I showed that to you before we left. Uh, Taco has claimed this plot. Let's see how our ender pearls are. Holy cow moly's. That's a lot of ender pearls, man. That is a lot of freaking ender pearls. Holy crap. We're almost full. Alright, well, if that's the case, I'll take some. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I want to go get some mail. So it looks like the, we've changed things a little bit here. Uh, I guess this is the door for behind here. Yeah. Oh, what's going on here? Wow. All right, my brain hurts already. <laughs> let's get out of here. <clears throat> All right, um, let's see. So the stairs are gone here, the way up. So let's... Uh, not used to using ender pearls. And there is our dragon egg on top of the fountain. Let's see if we got any mail. Pretty sure we do. And we do. All right, we got some redstone. Not sure who that was from, but thank you very much. Uh, let's see what else we got. We've got an infinity book. I'm pretty sure that was from Girin. So thank you, sir. Future tenant. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is from. Um, that's from Chuff. We'll read that in a second. Uh, Ender pearls. Ender pearls now open. Um. Keep that as well. Let's see. Move some of the stuff around. I want to keep some of this stuff. I'll keep the infinity book. All right. And we've got bone meal. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Uh, water bucket. Don't know where that came from. And a bow. Don't know where that came from. Awesome. Thank you. Whoever left all that stuff. <laughs> I think. Um, let's see. Let's put the infinity book in here. Take the redstone out. End of pearl there. And we're good to go. All right. Future tenant. Bank of Chuff. Office space now open. Uh, bank of Chuff is pleased to announce the grand opening of our new office space located on the second floor of the bank. You will find a variety of layouts. Claim your space today. Come first, come first, pick. Please leave a sign indicating you have claimed an office. Feel free to customize your space and make it your own. Sincerely, Chuff, CEO, CFO, oh, 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 C what? CEO, CFO, coup, president, and overlord. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. <clears throat> um, Going to have to walk sideways so we don't spoil anything. Uh, we'll head up there in a second, but I wanted to check in on the farm here. 
I've done some work in here. I don't remember if I recorded it or not. Uh, and I'm sadly too lazy to go look. Alright, so someone's been making use of the blocks, which is awesome. Got all this iron. And with the iron comes villagers. And we have not finished this farm yet. Uh, it will get done very soon. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with it, though. Um, so, these are guys that I think Giren and some other folks have been uh, kind of storing as kind of a village or trading area. And here's what I built um, before I left. And it is just a simple system that will... Um, let me wait for the minecart to come down here. There we go. Alright, so there's a water block over in under here. And it's pushing everything this way into the corner. So that when a villager, a baby villager, is bred, he falls down and it gets picked up by the minecart. And he gets sent up here. And this thing here will trigger, um, trigger this so that the minecart comes in here. So right now we've got this set up to automatic. Uh, so anytime the, the cart comes in, it's going to automatically get sent back out. If we wanted to, we could stop it. And when the minecart comes back here, it'll stop. And we'll have a villager. And then we'll wait for him to grow up, figure out what he is, and then decide what we want to do with him. Uh, meanwhile, of course, they're going to have uh, guys queuing up, which is fine, because they should probably end up as close to adults anyway by the time we get ready to go. Uh, this will keep or kill, so this will flick this guy here. And so if we want to keep them, they'll go over here somewhere. And if we want to kill them, then they'll come this way. And just like we did in our old uh, villager breeding thingy with Bob, uh, they they come up here, they get dumped off, and uh, Bob's your uncle. And then we go back to the beginning. So, um, in order to not have a backup of these guys, which is what's happened, uh, it's set by default to automatic. So anybody that comes in, you know, they'll pick up the villagers, zippy doo, kill them. Uh, so we don't get a backlog and we don't have like 50 villagers uh, sitting at spawn clogging up the works. So this is more meant for a manual processing uh, than anything. So I need to figure out what to do uh, once they, you know, if we decide to keep them. Um, do we put them into a, send, like make a portal right, right here or do we do something else? I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking we put a portal in, but I think the portal is going to have to go somewhere else. Uh, so that we don't have like conflicting stuff with the portal upstairs and the portal over at the amphitheater. Um, I'm going to make it a little over that way. I'm not sure. Uh, up the stairs here, if we go out here, uh, we are pretty much right at the pathway. Pretty much in line with the path. So uh, we have easy access to the outside. And uh, that's going to be kind of the entrance, I think, once we get everything built. So it's looking good. Uh, it's coming along. We've got some stuff still to do here, obviously, uh, to finish this system. Um, I don't know if we want to actually set up a villager trading post or not. Uh, I think I'd rather leave that for somebody else. And I think Chuff had had an idea about doing something like that so maybe this can help him uh, get the villagers he needs uh, maybe we'll provide some track over to his place or something um, or we'll have a, <clears throat> or we'll have um, some sort of portal system so that people can transport them to their bases so yeah that's what we've got done with the villagers uh, let's see kind of stuck here we still have some stuff to do with the amphitheater. We'll get back to that. We've got lots of projects, man. Lots of projects. All right, let's uh, let's head over to Chuff's, and I think that's where we're gonna end the episode. It's gonna be a little bit of a short one, just to kind of catch our breath, and uh, 
get back in the swing of things. All right, here we are at the Bank of Chuff. Looking nice, looking nice. I can't remember if anything... Well, I definitely this has changed in the back here. Uh, looks really cool. I don't know if that's going to remain open or not. I, th I, I guess it might. Um, but it looks really nice here. Got some uh, flora and... Not so much fauna, but flora. <laughs> um, the inside on the first level hasn't really changed. But uh, the upstairs is looking good. Uh, so the upstairs is where all of the tenants are. And um, some folks have moved it in. I don't know. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, so if, lots of folks have taken up office space here. So we got Derp's office. Empty. Got Bat's office. Oh, dang, man. Look at all the blue. And the Bat's. I don't know if I want to be across the room from Bats, man. Bats creep me out. Not Patronics, though. He's a cool dude. <laughs> dude, you need your books for your library. <laughs> looking good, man. Looking good. All right. So there's Bats' office. Uh, <laughs> Tigorso gear. This is, this is like my favorite office. Just hop up there. <laughs> That's all it is. That's all it is. And this is, you know, what most people feel like at work every day. Just going in circles. Going in circles. <laughs> I like it. Uh, Jello. Jello has not done anything with her office. And we have Andrew. Has not done anything with his. This one looks like it's free. PB Plays. Yeah, so that's another thing in the last couple of weeks. We've had a few f new folks join the server, which is awesome and exciting. I can't wait to get up with them. Uh, Glammy, Glammy's done some nice work in here. Saw this on one of her recent videos. I like it. Very nice. Cobblestone chairs, though. It's hurt your bum. I need some cushions. <laughs> So yeah, this is pretty nice. And then uh, the way... Actually, I took the, the cheaty way. This is really the way you're supposed to get up. Looking good, looking good. We have not done anything with our office yet, though. So our office has a pretty nice view of Colonel Logistics and the Colonel-ing arena. <laughs> so uh, ignore uh, what you just saw. You didn't see anything, I promise you. Um, so yeah, we're, we've got a nice little view here. Uh, we need to figure out what we want to do in here. There's a light under the floor. Um, I haven't, I don't know what I want to do here. I like the, I like this office because of the view. Um, so I don't know. We'll, we'll have to figure something out. So here's the, the glass, right? Let's go back to 3-1 because this is driving me nuts. Go, 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 go. So now you see it looks nice. So I don't know if there's a way. I could probably mess around with it, but I don't know if I have the patience for it. We shall see. We shall see. If I do make it, I won't be able to obviously distribute it anywhere, but I think it would look nice. I think I, I, think I may mess up with it. I don't know. Depends how much time I have. Um, you know what? Let's go down the proper way. Uh, but that's, I think what... That's about it for the episode. I really want to finish doing our office space. Um, we still have a bunch of stuff to do at Colonel Logistics. We still have a bunch of stuff to do at the amphitheater. Uh, we need to do a bunch of stuff over at the uh, the strip mine. And that's going to be where our new base is. So we got to start that. we got a bunch of other stuff. Ooh. But what we do have coming up is collab to see if we can finish off the um, the Wither Skeleton Farm. I did a bunch of recording for that. I think Chef's already posted some of it as a time lapse, and I will do the same. Um, but I think I'm going to condense it down into maybe one or two episodes uh, as we finish off the um, as we finish that off. So hopefully we can get to finishing that off because I really want a beacon. I really want to begin. And it uh, looks like... 
<laughs> Looks like it, uh, Taco has borrowed our beacon because he needs a beacon too. So uh, we need to get that going. So um, anyway. Oh, that's where the iron went. Taco built his beacon. Uh, all right. Let's see how it is. So, uh, again, hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. Lots of stuff coming to the channel, um, including some more games. I think we're playing Hot Tin Roof, the cat that wore the fedora. Uh, we're going to continue with that. And, um, oh, I see you. I see you, dog. I see you. Oh, you dog. Get out of here. What's off? There you go. All right. Anyway, let me get out of here before these guys swarm me. <clears throat> but we got Cat with Fedora, and we have uh, a couple other games that uh, I've got on the schedule that I'd like to get doing, get to doing, and uh, hopefully some collabs coming. So, uh, yeah, I mentioned earlier that there were uh, some new folks joining the server, and we're very excited to have them join us. And um, actually, now that I might think of it, there's another announcement that uh, happened while I was away. So we have uh, Fudge Cake who has joined us. Uh, he primarily streams but does the occasional videos. So uh, go check him out. He's in the description below. Uh, we also have PB Plays. Uh, just joined the server. And um, yeah, looking forward to some stuff with PB. And uh, Haven Hexed. <clears throat> Haven Hexed has joined us as well. So uh, lots of uh, lots of great content creators. And uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with them. And hopefully they have a lot of fun with us. And in addition to all of that, as if that weren't enough, we have a new modded server. Um, <clears throat> no, Don't worry about the content slacking off or anything. I think some folks have been uh, spending time there, spending time here. But it's not... Um, the modded pack is not like a grindy pack. So I don't think you're going to find that people are going to have a lot of time... Um, you know, stuck between figuring out what they want to do over there and what they want to do over here. <clears throat> because there's not a lot of machines and there's not a lot of magic. So there's not a lot of stuff you have to, like, build up to and, and research and stuff. It's a very adventure-focused pack. Uh, a lot of death, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> and uh, so the pack is called Crazy Craft. And um, I'll have a link to that and everything in the description for my first uh, modded episode. I'm not sure when it will be out. Maybe later next week, later this week. Um, I want to get to kind of doing some stuff here, uh, record some content for STBN on the vanilla server, and then we'll maybe hop over and do some stuff on the, the modded server once I get that sorted out. Um, but yeah, the, there's some other folks on the modded server. We have, uh, obviously, most of the STBN folks. Uh, not everybody, I don't think, has, uh, has this opted to play that. Um, but we do have some of the folks from, um, from Chills, uh, over, oh God, what was it? Overwatch? Over, Overcraft. <laughs> I knew it was over something. <laughs> uh, Overcraft. It had some folks from, that had played with him on his, uh, Overcraft server. And they're going to join on the, uh, on that server as well, and I think uh, one of Taco's uh, Taco's friends has also uh, joined the modded server as well, uh, Grevin. So looking forward to all the new peeps and uh, the new stuff. It promises to be a lot of fun and frustration, which is great. So um, looking forward to that. So lots of stuff has happened while I'm away. I need to stop going on vacations. God darn it, dang it, darn it, darn. Oh, lordy, lordy. Anyway. Leave comments and suggestions below. And uh, until next episode. Please do take care.